Hi Libra, this is Carrie at Wooing Nature. Welcome to your season, October. I hope that this time where you will be celebrating yourself and your birth and the excitement of the fall season as things are dying out and dying down and closing out. We've had a very uh, uh, fascinating year to say the least. And for some reason to me, it feels like the fall is the time where we can finally wind it down or dial it down and prepare ourselves for winter. So whatever fears may accumulate around that, just um, move forward knowing that you are divinely protected and that whatever is happening is for the good of all. And so welcome to this season, and I am very excited about it. So today I'm going to be reading from the Sacred Earth Oracle. I will be pulling two cards from that deck. I'll also be reading from Wisdom of the Oracle, and the tarot today is going to be taken from the tarot of a thousand and one night. So we will finalize and give you some detailing with that. But first off, we're going to go right to the sacred energy or sacred earth oracle. Sorry about that. Sacred earth energy too. And so with these, we'll just um, shuffle and we'll see what comes up. Um, we'll see what the Focus is for October for you, what you need to see, what you need to hear, what you need to sense. We thank you for being a part of this reading, and we thank those spirits that govern the sign of Libra and those with that Libra spirit and energy will just come forward at this time, now and throughout the reading for guidance and direction. All right. One more shuffle and we're good to go. Okay. All right. So these are your two. And we have time and reaction. Right off the bat, I hear reaction time. So your reaction time is very important during the month of October. What that means is that when things are happening, you need to be responding immediately, right? So don't procrastinate, don't wait to the last minute because the timing is very quick right now, okay? Time ain't playing with us anymore. And because time is, um, is as it is and it is uh, a part of a vibrational force, that we are a part of, these vibrations and frequencies are moving very quickly right now. And so your reaction time is going to be um, of critical importance. So I'm getting that right off the bat. So on the one hand, we have time. Time, of course, we know is a construct, you know. Um, time waits for no man. There is no time. There's all kinds of ways that we think about that. Time as we know it, like clock time, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, that kind of thing. That is more or less for mankind so that we can all be on the same page and get where we need to go so that we can all do what we need to do. Other than that, time in and of itself is, um, is, uh, quite nebulous. It's quite, um, murky. Okay. So you can utilize time, the time that you have, you can utilize it. You can also stretch it. You can also contract it, believe it or not. But you have to be able to be in the right synchronicity in order to be able to do that. And that's why your reaction time is so, so important. Okay. So I'm getting here that there is a birth happening. Where are my glasses? There is a birth happening. It could be your birth. It could be a rebirthing for you, or it could be a birth that's happening. But whatever uh, way or form birth is um, presenting itself to you, um, you have to know that there is timing for that too, right? So just think about it. If you're actually having a baby, there's a time when that baby is to be born, right? We don't know that time, not unless you schedule a C-section. But what I'm saying is in general, as far as um, um, nature, you know, there is a clock that there's a there's a timer, there's a, a beginning of something that starts a reaction, 
that then starts the birthing process. You start your contractions and there you go. So if you're not having a baby, but you know that this is uh, related to something that you are giving birth to, either an idea, a concept, a project, um, yourself, uh, whatever it is, then, um, then recognize and respect the timing of such. See where you are in the process. Are you at the beginning of the gestation period? Are you in the first trimester? of your birth, the second trimester or the third trimester. If you're in the third trimester and you're already having contractions, where are you in the birthing process? Are you at the pushing phase or are you at the phase where you can't push anymore and you just have to allow the baby to emerge? Okay. So that's what we're talking about when we're talking about time Libra for you. I'm also getting from this card that you need to pay attention to the moon and the moon cycle. So your first quote, your your full in your um and your new moon at the very least you need to be paying attention to. What sign is it in? Which uh degree is it in and how is it interacting with the other planets if you want to go that deep? But at the very least, you should be connecting at your new moon and your full moon. New moon times are times for you to set things into motion because the moon is on the climb, right? The full moon is when the moon is, that's, that's, that's the fullness of it. That's all of it, right? So that's when you are looking at accomplishment, accomplishments, assessing your progress, um, or celebrating a win, Okay. But at the very least, you need to be looking at those those two and doing something. Yes, I'm getting you have to do something specifically for you. You need to be doing something at the full moon. So the next full moon, you need to be connecting with the moon at that time. It has something to do with your um, throat chakra. It has to do with um, you being able to express yourself uh, the way that you need to express yourself. Now, the thing about the throat chakra is it is expression. It's about expression. So everybody expresses themselves differently. Some people may express themselves very eloquently through words. Some people may express themselves through um, painting. Some people may express themselves through what they give to others. So we're talking about your general expression and how you um, express who you are on the inside with the rest of the world. So it's about opening that. So you'll probably need to be doing some throat chakra exercises as well. Uh, I'll try to remember to put some of those on the, um, on the Facebook page and on Twitter and, and Instagram and that kind of thing. I'll try to remind myself to do that. Um, so, so yeah, so this is, this is the time, this is the time for all of that. Um, uh, also connecting to the stars, connecting to your inner wisdom, connecting to nature. Of course, I cannot, that goes without saying. Um, but yeah, a very interesting time for you indeed. And I'll just let you take a look at that um, magnificent image. That's where I was getting the moon and the full moon and needing to do some kind of ritual, the birthing here, your throat chakra there, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So now we're moving on to reaction reaction. So we did talk about reaction time, but reaction by itself in and of itself is about things that happen to you that you then react to, not respond to. So you got to look at the, the reaction is an act of something you do when something happens. It's a reaction, right? But I think I want you to be Libra at respond, responding. What is the response? And again, that goes back to expression as well here. I'm seeing that there has been some, um, for some of you, some difficult times, some sad times. You've been either crying a lot or um, just releasing a lot of emotions, which may be a reaction to something that happened in your past, or it could be a trigger that happened that then you know, started it. But what I want you to do is to really um, own the tears, uh, let the tears cleanse you of whatever the sadness is and allow yourself to really feel that um, because I'm seeing some kind of way that it's binding you. It's preventing you from really being able to 
um, grow in the way that you need to grow. And I'm seeing lots of growth potential happening because of all of these lotuses that are in this image. But I still feel like, you know, there's there's still some purging or there's still some um, releasing of some emotional energy that needs to happen in October for you in order for probably your reaction time to be better. Okay. Um, and so, ooh, yeah, I'm getting that this reaction is really triggers. There may be some triggers here for you. Okay. So just kind of go with the flow of that. And what you need to know is that when those triggers happen and it wakes up those sadder parts of yourself, et cetera, it's a part of the growing lotuses grow from the water, right? So um, your emotional pain or your emotional um, experiences or the experiences that bring up sad emotions or deep levels of, um, it could be grief, it could be sadness, it could be depression, it could be um, anything that makes you sad, right? That that's that's where the growth happens. The growth is happening with that. And again, I'm seeing with this, um, um the throat chakra and being able to express, even being able to express one's sorrow and the way that you express it and what is your unique way of expressing sorrow or sadness when it happens. So these are, these are, this is some good stuff. Good stuff. All right. So that's just something for you to think about and ponder on Libra for your month going in. I do believe in birthday months really being cleansing months. Like I know that it's a time for celebration, but I think that it's good also um, for at the time of you, you reflecting on your birth. And then, like I said, we're talking about birth. So your birthday, all of that. I think that it's also a very good time to reflect um, on, on yourself you know, and where you are at this point and really get a good hard look and start um, aligning some goals and aspirations for yourself, spoken from a true Capricorn. So, you know, it happens. But yeah, I think it's a really great time to do that as well. So yes, celebrate, but also take that time to um, to see where you are, to give yourself a really good assessment. All right, so I am now pulling from the wisdom of the oracle cards. Um, just pulling three cards here just to see see where you are, recent, past, present, um, what's coming up for you. Um, what's coming up for you is this regeneration. Remember, we talked about the birthing process. So this is coming in great timing for you, Libra, because it is your birth month. So thinking about regenerating, rethink, th thinking about how you are going to... Um, to um to grow from what you have recently experienced or what you have experienced over the last year um becomes very important and so that stuff that detritus that those underlying things that have really um served to shape you and helped to grow this very unique um this very unique um, 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 living being that is you, right? It's important to really examine that. And I think that's in essence what the last um, part of the reading was about. I have a treasure island here and I also have you taking a nap right here in the middle. So to me, and again, I'm looking at this moon again. Um, I'm seeing the fox here and here and the fox is about being able to be shrewd, be cunning, be sharp, um, and be able to move quickly. Uh, but before you're able to do that, you have to have rest. You have to have a time out. And so this is a time of rest for you and also a time for you to, again, get connected to your moon tides and your moon energies and how those, um, energies can, um, help shape the experience that you're having. Um, because the way that the, if you can sync yourself with the natural rhythms of nature, it will allow you to rest better. And I'm getting that some of you are needing this rest. You're needing to be able to sleep. And some of you are going to sleep, but you're not resting. Some of you are resting and not sleeping. Some of you, I don't know, but, but I'm, I'm feeling like there's probably been, been a lot of activity and you haven't given yourself the time to 
really vacate um, from the outside world and um, do that. And I know that sounds funny because we've all been kind of vacating from the outside world. But if the outside world is in your personal space, like as in on Zoom and uh, um, having meetings and you're in your home and working from home and that kind of thing, it can kind of, you know, um, it can create a, uh, a haze of where am I right now, right? And so that's the reason why you need the rest. This breaks down, it's a number 40, excuse me, 24 that breaks down into a six. Six I associate with um, a different kind of, it's for, six for me is a manifestation number. I know most people think about the eight as a manifestation number, which it is, but to me, six is kind of a different kind of manifestation number that comes from allowing yourself to be in prayer. Um, and, um, and then allowing the messages to come back through usually as what we call downloads nowadays. Um, so, um, I'm thinking that, you know, that's where that is for you. So the rest is really important, not just sleeping. I keep getting that over and over again. This is not just about, uh, going to bed early. This is a deeper level of rest that you have to get yourself to. And it comes from like, you know, taking things off your list. You have to, it's a deeper level of sleep. Okay, here's my point. Here's the point at which I recommend, highly recommend you be a part of the beta group. Wooing Nature is doing a beta group um, called the Sleep Pivot. And we are dealing with resting and sleeping and our thought patterns before and after we wake up. And um, you never know what it may do or how it may affect you. But I would recommend you um, touch bases with that. That's um, on Facebook. So if you're interested in that, just let me know or reach out to me through the website and I will make sure you get linked to that page. All right. And then we have a treasure island. The treasure island to me is in your recent past. Um, maybe something that you've been waiting for finally came through for you. Um, I'm getting that it's really about you seeing yourself. It was really about you seeing yourself, Libra, and, and seeing yourself clearly in what was coming for you. Um, and so it was a patience exercise and you had to wait and, you know, you just had to just keep going. You just had to keep going. You have to keep going. Um, your treasure is really yourself. It's really you. That's what it is. Um, Sometimes we're looking for treasures or we're looking for um, the um, manifestation, if you will, of or looking for a manifestation that represents a treasure for us. But really the treasure represents the treasure that is you. And so I'm getting that um, really clearly. That's coming in with a nine also, which means that this time is that part of your life, that experience that you were having, great experiences, good experiences um, that came from that period of time. You had many, probably lots of blessings uh, recently, but that time is now kind of moving on and that's where we get into the current moment. Taking a break, taking a breather, um, letting yourself rest from that so that you can regenerate and um, and grow again, okay? Yeah, so, and then this right here is 64, which breaks down into a one. So that all makes perfect sense to me. All right, lessons from the wisdom of the Oracle. Thank you very much. All right, moving right along. Oops, moving right along. We are going into the tarot section of the video. Like I said, I will be reading from these Bedouin tales. Just to get the story of Libra for the month of October. All of those people that are on the line. I want to celebrate 88 subscribers. I love that number 88. 88 hit the gate. You got the octave up. <laughs> I like it definitely like it all right so whew, all right 
All right, so we've got the Seven of Wands here. It looks like a catch. Somebody is a catch. Either you're a catch or you're catching something. Could be um, related to that treasure that we're talking about. I've got a Knave of Chalices here. Knave of Chalices. I've got you studying and studying and studying, reading. Um learning some new things. Again, I'm seeing that treasure that we looked at before. Maybe you, you are the catch. I don't know. I feel like that might be it. But I'm seeing that treasure again, that treasure chest. Um, and then we have you and another person looks like you and a partner or you and a friend or you and somebody else that you're associated with moving forward on a project that is um, that is um, worldwide or world connected or connected to the rest of the world. Um, I'm getting that you um, have studied. You've been studying this. This is something you've been studying or working on for quite some time. You've been working on building yourself, Libra. You've been working on um, um, really honing in on aspects of yourself, and that's good. I'm getting here with the eight that you may have felt like you were on your own, kind of out in the wilderness by yourself, not the wilderness, out in the ocean by yourself, feeling like you were going to capsize or something like that. Maybe not having all that you needed or feeling like you didn't, you didn't have everything that you needed. You got this makeshift raft here and you're trying to um, get from point A to point B, but the waters carried you. The water carries you. You were never unsafe. You were never without. You didn't ever have a situation that you couldn't handle. You are um, are afloat. You know, literally, you are afloat. You're on top of the water. You're not drowning and you're not somewhere else, right? And so then in comes this King of Swords energy. Now, I feel like this is somebody that you're going to be approaching or that you may be approaching. King of Swords energy for me is um, um, somebody in a position of authority, could be in a position of authority over you, could be a male person, could be um, an air sign, could be you, because we're talking about air signs. So we're talking about being in a position of authority, some in a position of being respected or someone to be respected, Okay. It's like what I'm seeing is people um, um, uh, approaching the bench or approaching with gifts, with treasures, with something. So this could be you, Libra, or it could be someone that you will be approaching or somebody around you that has that kind of um, energy. Okay, and then this is the Ace of Swords. So, so I'm seeing flight. I'm seeing um, I'm seeing some partnerships here. I'm 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 seeing a couple of things, Libra. Like I'm seeing the time alone. Like I'm seeing that here. I'm seeing that in both of these cards. Like this is time that you're um you're you're dealing with yourself. You're learning about yourself. You're trying to discover the of your the the, the wealth that's with in you but you've also been going through some things as well i see that but then i see these opportunities where you are going to either be partnering with somebody um, connecting with somebody sharing thoughts with somebody it could be this person that we're talking about right here or it could be somebody else coming along with that same energy and and, and it matches you or something but i do feel like whatever it is that you're going to be sharing it's something of it's something of a um of a um it's about ideas it's either an idea or a concept or something like that maybe it gets the attention of this person um this king of swords person i'm not sure um but we'll keep reading all right so now we have dangers lurking all right this is called a peligro a periculo or whatever but at any rate, it's um, it's showing um, 
you know, it's, it's an interesting landscape here because it's rocky, but it's also crystal. And then there's like this kind of figure, which to me represents you down here by yourself, like very small, but with all these very looming, um, 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 mm, people and issues and things to have to deal with. Help me out here. The reading is kind of all over the place, but we're going to see where it's going. Got to see where it leads. So, it leads to number two, Venerable Woman, which is a, um, which translates in the other tarots as the tarot cards as the High Priestess. So, again, someone to be respected. So it could be that this pairing or this partnership has something to do with um, you and a, a male. If you're female, there's a male person. If you're male, there's a female person. If, you know, if um, gender is a non-issue, then you're talking about um, somebody of a spiritual nature, someone of a spiritual nature connecting with someone who is... Um, very much intellectual. And if that is the partnering that we're talking about, then we're going to have to look a little closer at what's going on here with the partnership. Because I do see partnerships showing up here for you. Now, this could be love relationships, but I kind of don't think so. I'm thinking that... I feel like this is... um has something to do with what you've been studying and working toward, you know? All right, so we got five and we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. We have a five and a Knight of Wands in reverse. The five is in the suit of swords. So to me, there's still some things that are having to be worked out with the swords business. It's something that has to be worked out with the swords business. It's either a perspective. To me, this card is always about your perspective because whenever you have a conflict um, in the mind, it's about your perspective. And this to me screams perspective. You got to look at the perspective. That's where the issue is. And then we have it with coupled with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Now, I think this is an interesting Knight of Wands here because... Um, he has all this bundle on his head, which to me implies that he, the mind is, is um, full or overused or something to that effect, or the way that you're thinking is not um, conducive to the ride. You know, it's putting you out there kind of on your own. It's the way you're thinking that's putting you out there on your own. You're out there on your own. Okay. So that's where this comes in. Okay. I think that you've been accustomed to doing this and this is comfortable for you and that's great. This is working. This is nothing wrong with this. It's nothing wrong with taking time to, 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 to really self-examine and to really get into the things that you want to get to. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but I feel like it may have left you a little bit out on a limb here by yourself and you may actually be feeling that Libra. Um, the reason for it is your perspective and it's like how you're thinking. So it's very important for you to connect with this par this partner. This is a partner. This is the partner. That's what I'm getting right now. This is the partner. This is the partner that you are trying to connect with or that you need to connect with on some level. This is somebody who is well respected in their field or in their area. Um, maybe somebody, people go to them for, for advice or they may um, go to um, this person to share with them some of their findings or study. Could be a scientist of some sort, could also, but somebody who uses their mind, okay? Or alternatively, it could be somebody with, um, with um, Gemini, Libra, or um, um, Aquarius leanings. They could be, that could be a sun sign or they could have like a lot of that kind of energy around them. And I'm really careful about that because a lot of times people go start looking for somebody with that sign. Mm, you really got to understand the signs to know the energies of the, 
of the card, but it could be that, but it could also be just somebody who is more a thinker, um, who uses their mind as their profession, their profession, they use their mind. Okay. And this is the partnerships and you are going to be um, exchanging ideas, Libra, and these ideas are going to connect you. The, the These ideas or the pairing of ideas is going to connect you to um, the world, which is what you all, um, where you all should be. So you're going to spend a lot of time talking and connecting with this other individual. Um, there may be intimate time um, talking. And when I say intimate, like you and the other person spending a lot of time talking and creating and um, um, you know, passing information from person to person. It could turn out to be romantic. I don't know. Um, but what you're bringing to the table really is um, the spiritual energy or more the feminine um, aspects of spirituality, which is really discernment and spiritual awareness and spiritual understanding, a greater spiritual understanding to the scenario. Got another five here though, okay? So I want to pay attention to these fives because when I have double ups, I want to see what's going on here. So fives usually represent conflict. Remember I said that this is about perspective and it could be Libra about your perspective and the way that you're seeing things because you are virtually doing everything on your own and alone or you have been. Um, so I'm getting that um, that in essence is what you need to change your perspective around is uh, do I need to continue to go this alone or do I need to find a partner? And I think that when you open your mind to partnering with someone, then this person can make their appearance and start to um, and y'all can start to work together. But I'm getting that um, that that's the deal. So we had that conflict there. And then with this five here being in the suit of chalices, um, <clears throat> it could be that the, the advice that this person is giving you or where you sit with them, maybe you're not sure about that. Maybe you're not comfortable receiving the advice, the admonitions, the things from them. I'm not seeing it being terribly horrible, no good, very bad day, but I think that maybe you may feel off put by it or you're not accustomed to it or something like that you may not be accustomed to um to sharing that much of your information with somebody but that may be that may be something for you to think about i do want to look at these double fives here and then i also feel like i need to go back to the original card, which was the seven of wands, seven of wands, and this this catch here. This is spiritual. I don't know. Could be a catch twenty two. We'll see. All right. So we've got um, the fool and the knave of pentacles in reverse. Um. So the fool I cannot ignore because, of course, we're talking about birth. We're talking about starting over again. We're starting fresh beginning again, starting out on new territory, embarking on new territory. But with this Knave of Pentacles in reverse here, it's, um, um, I guess I'm feeling like um, you may not feel like you have the same access or you might not feel like, um, I'm getting that you're feeling like you don't have the access and the resources or the the resources that you may want to have. You may not feel like you have access to the resources that you want to have or that you need to have, but this individual is the resource that you need. It sort of stabilizes you or balances. This person balances you in some kind of way, but I feel like maybe you're not, you're afraid of that or you're not sure about that or you're uncomfortable with it in some kind of way. We've got the Knight of Swords in reverse. A lot of knights in this. Um, is it knights or knaves? It's knaves. This is the first knight. No, we've got we've got two knights here. All right, so things are moving quickly. That's what I'm getting from this Knight of Swords. This is moving quickly. I feel like this is also 
the individual who is coming in as the king of swords in your situation is going to come in very quickly. Um, and I do feel the fear around it. I can understand why you might feel that way. I think you feel like this person is going to be taking you too fast. That's what I think. I think that you think that this person is going to be taking you too fast. And then that's the reason for the alarm. That's why you're feeling a little nervous about that. Um, but you have to consider your resources and you're also going to have to, um, again, change your perspective about things. This may be an interesting pairing for you, um, Libra. Looks like an interesting pairing to me. I'm getting that, um, that this actually is probably a better partnership for you. I feel like I'm, and I know I've, in the other readings, like in the past couple of months, has been coming up something about a partnership for you. And you know that that's your area anyway. Seventh House Libra is all about partnerships. So I've been getting these partnership things for you for the past couple of months. But I think that this might be the better partnering. This is, I think it's more or less revealing the type of partner that you're looking for. Now, if this person has, this person has not shown up for you, then just, you know, rewind it back and, and, and know who you're looking for because that's who you're looking for. And then we've got the Six of Swords to me, which is about moving off the shore, pushing yourself off the shore um, and being able to connect. Now, I am there in this reading, I'm getting this feeling of intimacy between you and this other person. But I'm not sure what the intimacy is about. And you have to be very careful with intimacy because a lot of times what happens is that we think that we feel connected to a person and then we become intimate and then we think intimacy is about sex and romance and stuff like that. Not always. It's not always. And then this particular reading, I'm getting a lot of swords. I'm not getting very many chalices. The chalices that I'm getting in this reading are with you. It's about loving yourself and reconnecting with yourself or the time that you're spending with yourself, even if it seems um, uh, perilous or, or scary or whatever, or whether you're studying. That's where I'm getting the chalices. Everything else is in the suit of swords for the most part. Everything else is in the suit of swords. Oh, we have one more chalice, and that is about this relationship too, but it's in the, it's, um, in the conflict again, probably between yourself and the other person. You being able to um, exercise your full self, um, which I think is about ego. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. This right here is about the ego and it's related to how you see yourself. This is a whole nother, oh God, you all need another reading to go with this. But this relationship, the one that I'm talking about where I keep seeing the intimacy, the intimacy, the intimacy, it's all in swords though. So to me, it's like a connection in the mind. You all have a mental connection that's very important because of what you have to share with the world. I honestly, Libra, feel like you probably, um, that, that your, your, um, your spiritual nature, your spiritual knowledge is um very very important and I think you'll go, you're going to need to remember that in this relationship but because of who this person is in the world um their um way or their um modus operandi is a little more forceful than yours is and a little more assertive or could even be seemed as it may even seem aggressive or very pushy or something like that but I still feel like it's the right partnership for you at this time. It may be that you need a little push. It may need. It may be that you need to um, get over your fears. Here. All right. Clarify for us. Continue to clarify this reading for us for Libra for the month of October. Okay. Okay, so Ten of Chalices says there's land of milk and honey waiting for you, Libra. This is telling me that throughout all of this, everything that I just said here, through the studying and the hardship and the difficulty and the perspective that needs to be changed and you and this 
um, person that is the catch that you've been waiting for. You've been casting your nets and here comes the big one. And so now you can actually enjoy the fruits of your labor that's coming in for you and you'll be able to graze in um, in lush gardens. You'll be able to feel at peace again and, and feel like um, things are happening the way that they need to. Yes, things are happening very fast. I'm going to say the biggest thing for you, Libra, in October is to get past your fears and anything that is seems like uh, that causes you fear. You just got to keep walking through it and to change your perspective about um, how you do what you do, like be willing and be open to this person's um, way because this is the balancing point for you that you actually need. And, um, and, um, and I feel like the resources will come. See, I think that this is the worryation that you have, but what we see is that if you keep plugging at it in time and in the end, it will work out just fine for you. So October looks like to me, it's going to be a good month for you. You're just going to have to kind of, uh, relax it in with this other individual and I think you'll be just fine. So Libra, if you need to get that deeper reading, you know where to find me. You can find me right uh, through the website and the uh, information is in the description box below. As always, I hope you have a great October and I hope you're having a wonderful life.